This thing right here is the all new 7th generation 2017 BMW 540, codenamed G30. And it's lighter, larger, and much better looking than the outgoing model. thing about it is that all the cool gadgets launched in the 7 series last year kind of trickle down to this model. The new 5 series, at least in Canada, is available in 530, 540, M550 and also a plug-in hybrid called the 530E. Prices start at 61,500 Canadian dollars and all models come with all-wheel drive or xDrive. Our test model here, the 540i, starts at $69,000, but as it sits here with the M Sport package, adaptive suspension, and everything else, it's $90,000. I know that might sound a little bit pricey, but hold on because the gear on this thing is very impressive. It comes with all the latest intelligent driving assistant features, which also include adaptive cruise control with stop and go ability but it also has the really cool gesture controls, remote parking, air quality control, and incredible massaging seats. Take a look at this. You can swivel the camera around and have this amazing 3D view of your car with its surroundings. Just look at how much fun a car wash might be. You can decrease the volume like this, or you can increase the volume like that, or you can just change the radio frequency. Now imagine this, you wake up in the morning, you walk to your car and you find a humongous pile of dinosaur poop right in front of your door. What do you do? Do you panic? Absolutely not. You pull out this secondary key fob. It has a nice little screen on it. You can hold the button on the side that says remote parking. And then look, you can start up the engine. Put it in reverse and pull the car backwards. Aw oh man, I just ran over the poop. Another way you could use that remote parking is if you want to park your car in a very narrow garage. But come on, that's a silly scenario. You're never going to do that. The new 5 Series though is not only about toys because it's an amazing piece of machinery as well. Under the hood, the new and improved drivetrain is near perfect. The codename B58 straight 6 3 liter twin power turbo engine makes 335 horsepower and 332 pound feet of torque, but almost across the whole rev band. Combined with the spectacular 8 speed automatic gearbox and the 100 kilo weight loss, this thing is incredibly quick. How quick you might ask? Well, check this out. As measured, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, 5.2 seconds. Quarter mile, 13.4 seconds at 162 kilometers an hour. That's over 100 miles per hour. Also, this car comes equipped with the M Sport brakes, which are incredible. This thing will come to a complete stop from 100 kilometers an hour in just 38 meters, which if you think about the size and the weight, that's pretty awesome. Also, shout out to Pirelli here, because those P0 tires are fantastic. Yep, it's true, this thing pulls like a freight train. On top of that, it's pretty good on gas too. We've been averaging about 11.8 liters per 100 kilometers. That is really impressive. Another mega feature on this car is the adaptive mode on the suspension. That works so well, it's unbelievable. Of course you have Eco Pro, Comfort, three different sport levels, but the big news here is the adaptive mode. The adaptive mode uses image processing, GPS data, steering angle data, speed data, to continuously optimize the suspension for what's coming up ahead. Like if you're about to turn right, it will firm up the outer left corners so the car stays flat in the turn. Or if it sees a major pothole coming up, it's gonna soften that side of the car so you just glide over it. 
and it works. It's incredible. Now regarding that ultimate driving machine thing, well, let me tell you this. This car is like a CEO of a company that takes off his suit and really impresses you with the shape he's in. Because this thing is all business, but it's an athlete underneath. All you need to do is put it in any of the sport modes, you even feel the seat hugging you a little bit extra, and then this thing seriously goes. And it feels so good. This thing goes around turns with poise, nothing else in the class can match. Once again, this is the benchmark. It is fantastic. And with the added traction from the X-Drive, this thing is a blast. Steering feels great. Brake modulation is fantastic. The seat support is really good. And listen to this. It even goes <laughs> And then it's this interior. Who wouldn't like staring at this all day long? It is beautiful, very well made. The materials are all really high grade and ergonomically, it's as good as it gets. And it's not only the driver and passenger that will enjoy the interior. The rear seat roominess has also been improved. Legroom and headroom are now excellent and even the trunk is a little bit bigger than before. At 530 liters, it's fantastic and will fit four golf bags. I really need to try very hard to find something bad to say about this car. So it took us forever to get used to the BMW indicator stocks that just wouldn't stay put. And now they changed it. You actually press it and it stays put. That's gonna screw up my mind. The way they wrap the leather around the corner on the dash here looks like Stevie Wonder did it. If you hit the headdress from behind, they sound exactly like bongos. But honest to God, that's it. So yeah, it's time for my unbiased overall score on the car. Well, you know what? It is best in the class. It really beats the Mercedes E-Class in every possible way. It's better than a CTS. It's better than an Audi A6. There's nothing better in the class to buy. This really is the new benchmark. So 10 out of 10.